Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thurs. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and I don't remember what happened in this match. It's the last one, at least the last one I recorded, that Lee, Guang, Copper, Ray, Azra, and I did last Friday night after hours. Um, I'm in my level 3 Gundam, which I have still not de -shard, but of course now I've got the level 4, so I probably won't bother. Um... We moved to this map because we got a pretty good beating on the previous map, like two two rounds before this, and figured we got another group that wasn't on to us, but then figured it was a good time to move on. Um, I may eventually show that map, uh, show the one that we lost, because it's worth seeing, be because... We do make some mistakes, and I especially make a lot of mistakes in my Gym Sniper Custom Shimoda. I got a higher score, but of course, ultimately, we lost, so... this this Some some days, this feels like my fate to either be the highest-scoring guy on the losing team or the lowest-scoring guy on a winning team. So, there's a lesson in there somewhere, and someday I will figure it out. Um, missed my tackle. I do that a lot. That was half my problem in the Shimoda, because they had a fair number of melee types to uh, harass us on that map. But, enough about that. I'll narrate that, that video when I narrate that video. Um, they have the new patch uh, for Gundam Battle Operation came in, like, morning before last. And they have added some interesting things, which I will be showing in probably my first video on Saturday, the, my first video recorded this week for Saturday. So even if I lose badly, you will probably see that video. Um, I'm not going to lie, if I, if I do lose badly, I may trim it. Um, and just do an instructional video, because I'm just not big on the patience this week, I'm sorry to say. A dear friend of mine died on Wednesday, uh... J.D. Church from Radio Free Cybertron, for any of you who may listen to that. Funny guy, another Minecraft player, so, you know. And I will tell, for lack of a, a better idea of what to say about this round, my favorite story about him real quick. We do a Toy Fair podcast every year. We're going to do it this year again, even in his absence. But... Man, I miss that swing badly. I do that a lot. I don't judge distances very well. But okay, so we had this guy on. It's not that he didn't know his stuff. It's that he very aggressively misunderstood everything. He did not have opinions so much as he had incorrect facts. So, JD very patiently corrected him patiently, gently, politely corrected him on everything for like an hour and the guy eventually had to go and we said our goodbyes again politely and let it go and did the podcast for another hour and JD, after we were asked if we were off the air, found out we uh, were and launched into this wonderful high volume profanity laden tirade of everything we had been thinking for the last hour and a half it was wonderful, it was great and I'm going to miss him. But sorry to be a downer here. You know, but it's what's on my mind. It's why I've been kind of cranky this week. And, you know, apologies if I have been cranky at any of you. I have been trying not to, but sometimes I screw up. But let's see. Looks like they're trying very hard to take A, and I managed to get in before they could do it. So, ah, and somehow the Zogok didn't get me. And Gelgood Cannons have been a serious thorn in my side lately. They, I swear they got a damage boost recently, because, you know, they've always been powerful. But, man. I think that was a bazooka that just hit me. Yep, and followed by that beam shot. And look at the damage it did to me. I was at full health. And with the parts I have on this Gundam, full health is considerable. And yeah, there go my legs. So... They've got a Gilgug, I think a regular Gilgug, a Sniper, Commander, and a Cannon, because I'm seeing some missiles launched. Um, ground Commander, excuse me. But, 
We do have a lead, and now we have aces. Guang is ours in his, I think, level 2, Alex? And theirs is the Zagak E, which, considering our ace is a general purpose type, kind of gives us an edge. Um, I forget who, I'm pretty sure we had supports on this round. I forget who they were, or what they were, because, again, it's been a week, and it's been a tough week, so, you know. But, basically, when there are two engagements like that, one in each direction, my rule is whichever one has the fewest people is the one I move to help. Gotcha. Because two-on-one probably can take care of themselves. If it hadn't been for that pylon, I'd have had the Gelgud cannon, but I think I get got here because there's just too many of them, and I, I did my stubborn thing. Ah, but Lee was there to back me up in his pixie. And, of course, Copper was our support type in Jim Sniper 2. Love the Jim Sniper 2. But, yeah, when, there, when there's somebody low on health, I kind of get tunnel vision. And I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. It's bad. But I do it, and it does not always work out to my advantage. Because, you know, you need to know when to let go. You need to know when, if I chase them any further, I am going to be surrounded, and I am just going to cost the team points. That is a difficult lesson to learn. And I'm not very good at it myself most times. Okay, stun the Zogok. Can I kill the Zogok? Gotcha! Well, somebody else got it, but I got the counter tackle anyway, so I feel proud. Oh, that's a Gelgog against that... I ignored the Gelgog that was up against that, uh... Up against that building. I'm not sure why I did that, but... We lost Guang, but we're ahead by 4,000 points. Almost... Yeah, 4,000. Which is, even in an ace room, is a substantial lead. And, fortunately, Gundam Pixies... Eat right through Gelgog cannons. Something's got to. Though with enough upgrade parts, you can actually make a very resilient support type. We ran into a really... A couple of really nasty ones the other night, but... Yeah, so... Ack. Well, I managed to escape temporarily, but I don't think it's going to last. But they managed to miss me, and I... Okay, they're still behind me. Roll... Nope, couldn't get the roll off, so I'll probably die. Oh, there we go. Yep. Level 5 Gelgug Commander types are really tough. So. Kind of want one for myself, but I, j I haven't bought the level 3 that dropped for me yet, so that'll have to wait. But we had a pretty good round, and it went well. Ah, I unfortunately, I'm out of the reserve energy I bought to get Mudrock, or else, you know... If I stick around uh, tonight, it'll probably be in whatever leftover energy that is recharged after I run through both my accounts, because I'm going to start trying to use Chikugin 2750 again, simply because, you know, I'm having fun with the game again. I'm, pl I'm getting to play with everybody because I can play more often, so I'm trying to get that account raised up. It's still, like, rank 5, level 9. I can't even use my Gundam and Galgug S that I got for the anniversary thing last year, so... I'm going to work on that from time to time, try and get myself up to speed. But that, I think, is going to do it for today. We will be back tomorrow with more Gundam Battle Operation. And as I said, I will go through all the new things that are available to us. There is the new uh, uh, Secret Order slash Mandate system. There is There are now chat macros for... Uh, the loop for the setup screen, and there are, uh, running out of time and words, uh, you can now see respawn times and all that on the loading screen and such, so that'll do it for now. We'll be back soon. Until next time, everybody take care. Later.